Alice Gray and welcome back to another episode of Grey Matter, the series of science shorts that talks all things brain and cracks all things cranium. The days of asking a cute girl out to the cinema or asking a fitty to come for a walk on the beach with you are long gone and dating is as simple as a swipe left and a swipe right. The typical dating experience for today's singletons is using dating apps or dating sites, scrolling and swiping through profiles to hopefully find the one which can be a little bit hard when they use group photos and Snapchat dog filters. We are now making split second love life decisions based on a few carefully chosen photos and a couple of likes and dislikes listed in a bio. But what is going on in our brain when we're swiping? In one study, people were put inside a brain scanner and they were shown photos of eligible suitors and they were given four seconds to decide whether or not they would date them. The results found that two parts of the brain were involved in predicting whether the person would reject or pursue the suitor. These were the dorsal medial prefrontal cortex and the paracingulate cortex. When using dating apps, our decision making process seems quite instantaneous, but there's actually a lot of stuff going on. We're trying to get a whole host of clues about their personality and decide whether we're attracted to them based on a personal profile. So can we really make good decisions that quickly? Normally, when we meet someone in person, within a few seconds, our brain has already started evaluating their physical attractiveness. However, our rostromedial prefrontal cortex puts the brakes on this initial assessment and encourages us to get to know them a little bit more to assess compatibility. And the brain scanners in that research found that the prefrontal cortex, a part of the brain involved in decision making and critical thinking, was involved in these snap decisions to whether they'd swipe left or swipe right and whether they thought this person might be the one. And more specifically, they were using their medial prefrontal cortex for social decisions and they were using their parasingulate cortex when they were making romantic decisions. This part of the brain would activate when they said, yes, please, I would like to date that person. So even though the swiping feels quite habitual, your brain is doing a lot of work in the background. So that's it for this episode of Grey Matter. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for next time.